Hi everyone. I want to give you some important information on how to properly size your service line from your water main to your home. So if you're looking to replace yours or install a new one in a new home, there's going to be some good information in this that helps you out. So the first important thing is the fixture count. All of the plumbing fixtures in a building, like a sink, shower, toilet, etc., all count towards this. The length of the pipe run from the water main to your house is also important, and the type of building, whether it's residential or commercial, matters a lot. So a standard one-family home has a one-inch water supply line, usually, and this supplies all of your standard fixtures in your home, like a kitchen sink, your full bathroom, uh, outside hose, a washing machine, anything you can think of. So a one-inch line for your typical home can provide nine gallons per minute to your home, while a one-and-a-quarter-inch line will provide 16 gallons per minute. That's a 56% difference in just a quarter-inch of pipe. So even a slight increase in the, the supply line size will have a big difference in the amount of water that's supplied to your home. So if you're looking to replace your water supply line, you should consider that some homes are really old and the water supply line can be more than 50 years old. So in those 50 years, a lot of the times more plumbing fixtures have been added to the homes with the installment of new bathrooms, even new um, washing machines are added that are very high powered and they require a lot of water. So you may want to consider putting a slightly bigger water supply line in to provide all the necessary water for all your new fixtures. So a two family home would probably be okay with a one inch line, but may also require one and a quarter inch line. A three family home would probably typically require one and a half inch lines and any six family complex or greater would be uh, required to have probably like a two inch line. So for an example of why length of the run matters, uh, the typical water line will lose approximately 33% of its delivery capability if the line is increased from 30 feet to 60 feet. So for example, a one and a quarter inch line can deliver approximately 21 gallons per minute over a 30 foot line, but if that same quarter, one and a quarter inch line was through a 60 foot run, it would only deliver 14 gallons per minute. So since we know this, in cases where there's a really long run, it would be an error to just base your water supply line size based on the amount of fixtures that you have. Since the inner diameter in PEX is slightly smaller, you might want to go up in size in PEX. So if you're thinking of installing a one inch line of copper, but instead want to switch to PEX, consider installing one and a quarter inch PEX. So depending on the climate in your area, you may not want to use PEX for your supply line because if your area has freezing temperatures in the winter, PEX lines can burst on the ground. So just be careful about that. And if you found the video helpful, then press like and subscribe to the channel. If you have anything to add for uh, supply lines and what material to use or what diameter to pick, then share it uh, in the comments section because a lot of people talk down there and you could help someone out.